prefabs are fundamental to Unity's architecture, and the new prefab workflows offer powerful new capabilities. The new workflows are divided into three key features. Prefab mode, nested prefabs, and variants. A prefab is a template for a collection of game objects and components that can be instantiated or spawned into a scene. We might create a prefab for each enemy type in our game, or each type of power-up. Prefabs are used in two different ways, as assets and as instances. An instance of a prefab is a copy of a prefab asset that has been instantiated in a scene. It's now possible to edit prefab assets directly in prefab mode. A prefab can be opened either by double-clicking it in the project window or by clicking the right arrow next to the prefab in the hierarchy window. Prefab mode allows you to keep your current scene open, open a prefab and edit the prefab asset in isolation. This saves us having to drag the prefab asset into whatever scene is open. It also avoids us having to change scenes if we don't want to drag the prefab into the currently open scene. In prefab mode, changes are saved automatically, or they can be manually saved if autosave is turned off. A prefab instance can have overrides. Overrides are modifications that are unique to that specific prefab instance and not part of its corresponding prefab asset. When a property is changed, the text is shown in bold, and a blue vertical line appears beside it in the inspector to label it as being overridden. Other types of overrides are added and removed components and added game objects. These are shown with plus and minus badges overlaid on their icons to label them as being overrides. Using overrides, it's possible to create prefabs which share common characteristics, but also differ in specific ways in specific contexts. Property overrides allow us to change a property of a prefab instance and preserve those changes, while allowing unchanged properties to be updated and kept in sync with changes in the prefab asset. In practice, let's say we want to create a single instance of our robot that is faster than the original, but otherwise identical. We can change the robot's speed. We can see in the inspector that a blue highlight has appeared next to the change speed property signifying that the speed is now being overridden. This change is now local to the prefab instance. If we change the speed of the prefab asset, the overridden speed remains unchanged. However, if we change the scale of the transform of the prefab, this change is reflected, because it is not overridden in this instance. All changes to prefab instances can be managed via the Overrides drop-down. Clicking on a game object or component in the list reveals the Comparison window, which shows the values from the prefab asset on the left and the overridden values on the prefab instance on the right. In this drop-down, we can review, apply or revert changes made to a prefab. Nested prefabs allow us to include prefab instances as children inside of other prefabs, while still maintaining a connection to their own prefab asset. This means that it's possible to have, for example, a floating marker icon which is used for every unit in our game as part of the unit prefab. If we want to make a change to that marker, which will be reflected in all the units, we don't have to edit every unit prefab separately. With the marker as a nested prefab, Changes made to the marker prefab asset are reflected in all instances of the marker, regardless of which prefab it is a child of. All we need to do is open the robot prefab in prefab mode, and then open the marker prefab and make a change. In this case, we'll scale the transform. Because autosave is enabled, the changes will automatically be saved, and we can see them appear in our other unit prefabs as well. It's also possible to override properties of a nested prefab. In this case, perhaps we want to further scale down the size of our marker for one of our three robot prefab assets. This is the only change that we want to make to it, and we want it to receive all other changes made to the marker prefab asset. In this case, 
we can make a change to the scale of the nested prefab in prefab mode. Now, the scale of the nested prefab is overridden only in this robot prefab asset, but not in the others. Any other changes that we make to the marker prefab asset will still be reflected in all instances. For example, if we change the colour of the particle system from red to pink. Variants allow us to create new prefab assets derived from other prefab assets. The prefab that a prefab variant is based on is referred to as the base. The prefab variant can contain overrides to the base prefab, but still receive updates to properties which are not overridden. If we create a variant of our faster robot, we could now instantiate instances of it into our game, alongside our original slower base prefab. We'll right-click the base prefab and choose Create, Prefab Variant. Then we'll rename it and open it in prefab mode for editing. We'll change the speed to 12. Next, we'll exit prefab mode and drag an instance of it into our scene. When we enter play mode, we can see that our variant prefab is faster than the base prefab instances. If we want to create a variant of a variant, we can right-click the variant and choose Create Prefab Variant. For this, we will create a small and fast prefab variant. Let's open it in prefab mode for editing, and in this case, we will scale down the transform. If we choose to, we can still make changes to the original that are reflected in both variants, as long as we are not changing the overridden properties. An example of this type of change that will be reflected in all instances is if we open the base prefab, and replace the material for the robot's body with this green material. Now we can see that the change material is reflected across the base prefab and the two variants that we have created. This is because the material is not overridden in the variants. Changing the material in the base prefab, therefore, will propagate the variants. As you can see, the combination of overrides, prefab mode, nested prefabs, and prefab variants combine to offer many powerful new workflow possibilities. To learn more about the improved prefab workflows, please see the link below.